to the Buy Box Bandits podcast. Welcome back to the Buy Box Bandits, the number one Amazon podcast in the world. Today we got an episode that's just us, back. first time in a little bit. Uh, we're doing one of those after a string of really good guests. I'd highly recommend checking those out. Who who we have on recently? We had George, uh, um, Chris Grant from yeah, uh, Chris, Grant. Chris Grant. Yeah, yeah. he yeah that was that was a good one too. Yeah, definitely. Um, that dude's all over the place. He's got a hand in everything. Yeah, and that's why I like yeah because it wasn't just about Amazon. It was about like building an Amazon ecosystem. Kind of some of the stuff we're working on intentionally. Who and who do who do we have before that as well? uh I, i'm look i can't tell just through the was title. that the guy was that um your boy from twitter kyle um, we had kyle senses uh, yes yeah, yeah yeah it was a whole um, string of like no no i think there was we someone KT, after KT kyle. Hustle yeah, or... exactly yeah we've had it's been it's been an, a star-studded lineup so make sure you guys Prime check out time fba episodes if you haven't yep yep curtis yeah the electronic the one at the one guy who also sells electronics you don't show out for miles are they um are those sunglasses a recent purchase of yours Oh, they came in today from Prime. Yeah, I'll check Amazon the Amazon Prime. One. Yeah, yeah, I'm excited because it's like they're good ones. I'm not gonna lose them this time. I'm prone to losing them. And the Dog Gate, the Dog Gate, the ones I had lost. What um, of. what made you think those were good ones? <laughs> I'm just like genuinely here. Like I don't. Know. They're orange. I, I, I mean, all right. Like I, I'm sure I could get like an orange. But look, like, what 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 made you feel inclined to think that those were solid ones as a consumer? I would just don't want to be looking at blue light like crazy. No, no, no. He, no, no, he no. definitely what? got hit by a PPC Bro, ad. Well, I'm saying he what definitely. on the listing? Like what? No, you when can't you're buy from PPC it. ads. No, only Bozo's buy from PPC uh, No, he's asking a legitimate question. What oh made you God. purchase those as opposed to the 20 other? They had good reviews. They had good reviews, which could be Thank faked, you. I know. But the, no, no I was just wondering. I was wondering because like I have different ways of like I think and see what product. Honestly, a lot of times I go off the price. Like if they're asking a higher price, I'm like, ah, it's probably better. Oh, no, these were more and that's why I bought them because I thought they'd be better they were like yeah, it's, fu- it's funny that sometimes just raising prices on, on pro- like i just automatically would yeah well hormozy, yeah a lot of like smart people talk about that and that if you raise your price like you're it's an offer of its own you know what i mean like there's less competition higher scott price and you, get, about, and you get a better a better quality of client too huh scott talks about price bands when he's when he's getting into his uh private label stuff where he like essentially assimilates like a 1999 price to like 24.99 is like like you know you can price it at 22 23 24 it all has that like same sort of impression but if you get over yes. 25 then it's like it rubs the customer a different way just like well, like 9.99 diff- yeah it evokes a different emotion like i think right. we all have a threshold of things if we see for sale on amazon where we could be like i could buy that and not worry about it at all but then it <laughs> hits a certain number where you're like do i really bucks. need that like yeah, it- yeah someone as someone who is like an avid impulse purchaser from Amazon, what's your <laughs> what's your price point where you're like, ah, right, maybe I should second guess this? I honestly don't. Okay, I'll, okay, I'm gonna. <laughs> I have a perfect, perfect example for you. So I was, uh, I think it was Sunday night, but I was. I honestly, I don't buy from Amazon a lot. I really don't buy a lot of stuff anymore. You, you don't buy anything that's rope. like over 400 bucks if you think you'll like maybe so, make a video. So this dude, <laughs> wait, just for context, before you get into your story, this dude was talking about a, um, he just moved to Miami. He was getting one of those cameras that flies in the air, the drones. The drone. The He's drone super it. pumped. He orders it, breaks it three days later. But the drone wasn't <laughs> was meant cool for videos. Though. It was just for like enthusiasts. Like I, I didn't care about making videos. It was just fun. Like I used to fly RC helicopters as like a kid, like all the time with no camera just flying them around. Okay. Continue. Go ahead. Okay. So anyway, so Sunday night <laughs> I bought, um, so I had, well, I had purchased the, uh, the uh, VR, the Oculus VR stuff. The, uh, one of the, um, like the things that go over your face and you could do VR. Like PlayStation. Mm-hmm. No, no, you could do it just through your computer, right. but I had bought it. It was $400 and I had bought it and I was like, Hmm, maybe I don't need this. So I, I, canceled the order on amazon <laughs> but i was kind of hoping off? it would still get delivered you didn't need the tax write-off no i don't know if that would be a taxable event purchasing <laughs> oculus vr oh I mean, yeah ball out in the metaverse maybe it's the uh, it's oculus is the me- people say metaverse is just like basically at, well, at this point it's like it's I, just a buzzword it's like crypto and passive income and i don't 
I don't think, I think the med, I, I really like augmented reality where you, so Google, I mean, Google was way ahead of the, their time when they did Google glass. It's where like you put the, the, uh, the glasses on and then little stuff pops up on your, on the glasses as like you're walking out in real life. That's, that's AR, that's augmented reality. I think that is going to go a lot further than, that's pretty than cool. a metaverse stuff. Cause Dude, even like a, a heads up display on your car is technically augmented reality. Interesting. Yeah. Are you a fan of Bose? I was in Walmart the other day. They have like these sunglasses that duo. Oh, as, as headphones. I've they was... seen those, but I've never tried them. Are I have, did you try Sound them? is crazy good. Like it, like, like if you hold up to your head, you don't hear anything. It's like through the vibration. It's weird. Yeah. It's weird, I, weird. Honestly, Bose used to be on the top in terms of speaker with the QC 15s and the 20 plus. Bose used to be on the top of headphones with the QC 15s, right. which is the yeah, SKU, or the QC 25 or 35s. But Apple, in my opinion, has taken over that, that market with the AirPod Maxes. Should, yeah. They're just, they're just I've, I've wanted to try. They're, they're, they're bred, though. I don't know if Why I could just say that. They're, 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 they're 100% worth it. Like, I, I like every flight I've taken in the past like two months, there's been a baby within two rows of me, like every, every single time. And it's always the crying. Going to AC or coming. Yeah, from- where were yes. those flights to? New it's- Newark, EWR. <laughs> um, but like, dude, I'm telling you, put the put the AirPod Max on like 70 percent volume, and it's there. It's amazing. So much I'm better. An Air, AirPod Pro or an uh, uh, AirPod kind of guy. I just I don't like in ear headphones, just over the ear. But I don't wear them. Like I don't wear headphones ever. Miles has got the OG ones on. He's got the boomer ones. Well, the yeah. wired headphones are back in style. They are. I'm trying apparently, to apparently. Like, there's, there's like totally celebrities right. like just wearing them out and about. It's a movement. It's a movement. Yeah. yeah. Miles is just wearing them because Gary V wears them sometimes. Well, Gary V st- he's a trendsetter, man. <laughs> trans- I mean, it definitely looks a little bit. You look less snobby i think with those on not you particularly but like in general so you're saying i look snobby with with them on then. no without no if you're wearing airpods you would look more snobby than more if you're snobby, just wearing okay. those okay well those you specified that it wasn't just me yeah just, yeah i mean that's just kind of how airpods look but that's the most All right, successful, so uh, state of the union amazon was talk me through what you guys are working on this week past few weeks since we've done one of these update type episodes garrett uh, we're just cranking away business as usual we no what are you doing differently you're doing stuff differently yeah exactly yeah we're, we're I, I guess compared to last year we're probably reaching out to more wholesalers this year um just because that's that was an initiative of ours for 2022 especially q1 q2 but yeah we've had a ton of success uh, within the past couple couple of weeks dan and i are actually on the supplier together which is pretty cool we're going to start comparing notes and yes and sir. Running it. Oh my God. Yes, i just thought sir. i would block out some um some 5g ultra wideband all the youtube viewers me. got i feel bad for the over. youtube viewers right now gosh dang yeah they can see the items so, that, are on, that are on your screen in their i think what there. i'm doing differently right now is because i felt this recently as i just have a ton of back orders um, I've, I've just expanded more back into grocery and it was interesting cause I was able to compare how I was searching through grocery wholesale lists, uh, two years ago versus how I'm doing it now. Yeah, so, that's a good point. So yeah, two so years, I was looking back on some of my older, or dumber two years ago. Well, I mean, if you let me finish miles, so, <laughs> as I was looking back, I realized that two years ago, I was looking just at crazy margins i wanted to find and that's why i couldn't find anything because i was looking at four dollars a unit minimum profit plus 20 percent margin minimum and i remember thinking two years ago i was like damn 20 percent margin i was like that's cutting it close i remember like thinking it as i was looking at one of my software and i was like oh i remember exactly my thoughts when i set up this filter but yeah and then i just changed them back uh for grocery to about 10 percent I honestly don't even put the, the 10% on there because I want to see everything that's profitable. Uh, and then a dollar fifty profit after uh, prep costs. Ton. Even that's the case with us though, because I we're looking through again some of the some of the supplier catalogs and Excel and Excel files that we looked at maybe six, seven months ago. And you just look at it through a completely different lens because and that's just the power of of spending capital, purchasing power, right? We have so much more purchasing power than we did six, 10 months ago that I mean you can just 
look at products so differently, right? A 12% margin's golden now. Well, yeah. it's I can make not it, golden. Can, you'll take it. It's not golden, but you'll take it. If I can make a dollar okay. fifty and, well, and 10, 11, 12 percent nah, of anything, right, on. game on. If it's consistent, like if the yeah, yeah, yeah if, if, if the price is consistent, yeah. if the price is consistent at like ten percent or like eight, like yeah, that's a golden ticket yeah. to print money. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. And that's the that's the case with a lot of these grocery wholesale um, items. Is that it, there's just so much stability, so much stability. Yeah, this yeah. stability is big because all of it compounds with stuff you can buy over and over again. It's the same thing. If you can find honey holes in RA and OA, you know, and other types of stuff like that. Yeah. Just I, uh, I was on the phone with, uh, with one today. There's a lot of really small grocery distributors, like, but they're not small. They're large. They just have really bad like internet presence because they just have a ton of existing clients. So they don't care. But yeah. I talked to one today and dude, he was, I don't know why I said I saw on Amazon, but he was like, as soon as I said that, he goes, no, no way. We don't, we don't, he goes, we don't do the Amazon thing. I was like, God, come on. What do you mean? You don't do the Amazon thing. What do you, like, I just have open never up, heard that kind open of Open up your rejection. pocket. Open up. Yeah. No, nah, he was not about it. I'll probably call him back like yeah, next you, week. Just say you're a wholesaler. Follow up, as man. soon as. Gotta make them cease and desist yeah. you or you haven't been so working So as hard soon as I said the word Amazon, it's like I punched his kid in the face. Like he was getting angry with me. So I, there's some, so I'm probably going to call him back like next week and be like, Hey, I think just, we got off on the wrong foot. And let's just, talk through why, with- why wholesalers wouldn't want Amazon sellers for why that's a common rejection Dude, I, for viewers who I, might not have ran into that yet. Or, or I mean, might be I think a lot them. of it is, I think a lot of it is because like the name of the game with Amazon wholesale is to open up as many accounts as you can. Yeah, so it could be point. they they're they're just taking the time to open up these accounts that no one orders anything, and I think they're upset about that time for them. Yeah, it's or. Totally- I think that's most of it or an Amazon seller just screws, screws them over. Cause it's usually younger people. Not, I, I mean, not that, that much younger, but like usually younger people than what they're used to dealing with. Um, and they're just a little bit less, there's no, like there could be less of a foundation, less knowledge. There's way less it, of a barrier to entry to become an Amazon seller than a grocery store. Right. I mean. Right. And also with a grocery yeah. store, like that's flexible. Like when you're looking at, dull apple juice or whatever the dull cup in a gro in a, in, a, in your grocery store there's only one dull cup for sale or like one there's one listing there's one price of dull cups in the whole grocery store there's not going to be a cheaper one in aisle eight and a more expensive one in aisle 12 where on amazon you literally just scroll and you'll find the best deal so that's all they, that's also why they it's just easier for a grocery store to, to order ticket prices however they want yeah, I, mean, I think I think you hit the nail on the head. A lot of it just comes from them having a bad taste and Amazon sellers just in general creating a bad reputation as a, I, I as think a it's unit, the accounts. as an industry. Yeah, I think it's just wholesalers just trying to get as many accounts open as you can. But dude, like for everyone that says no, another one says yes. Like I literally got an email two hours ago, a big electronics uh, company I was trying to get on responded back with a meme actually. So Wait, were you following up with but, meme? So I, so, all right. So I like to like, this is like another, this is a whole another thing, but so she had sent me some emails and they were, she was always giving me emojis in them, like, like Apple emojis. So I was responding back with Apple emojis. (laughs) Like I was all with it. And then today when she told me my account got approved by like the, her branch manager, whatever, she sent me a, a meme about taco Tuesday. So I don't know. I'm looking at it right now. But yeah, you just got to like match the people's energy. Like when they're speaking to you, like if they're super serious, like be, be somewhat serious. Is or that your, um, try to is that your strategy on Tinder? Dude, we can't talk about these things on the air. <laughs> Aren't you banned from Tinder? These are things, no, no, stop. These are false accusations. Wow. Bro, just for the viewers, I was, so we have a shared buy box band at Gmail and I forget what night it was. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So uh, yeah, I, Yes. I think it was Friday or Saturday night. I get a notification on my phone and it says Tinder authorization. Yeah, I had to change my phone number on Tinder. <laughs> <laughs> this boy Dan, because I know it wasn't Miles. Obviously, it wasn't Miles. This boy Danny was. Wait, why couldn't night. it have been Miles? Definitely. I just Miles. wouldn't be doing that. Yeah. I'm not. Anyway, <laughs> back to State of the Union, Amazon. Miles, what are you doing different? Uh, uh, we got some prep center interviews this week. 
uh, ramp up the average sale price, expand the catalog. Uh, that's kind of the plan with that. Oh, I, yeah. I was... And we might as well just mention this now because people have been asking like buy box bandits prep center, unfortunately is no longer a thing. It is for no particular reason other than it's the energy that we were spending on it. Uh, Fuck yeah i mean it's not yeah like there, there's just opportunity costs elsewhere that we can better you know like yeah. that we can better both monetize and just be happier and everything and most of it most of it comes back to just not having a reliable team in there like we had just had so many issues with employees that it just became really 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 not worth it like miles was saying and it comes back to obviously hiring to scale the way amazon's a skill and it's something it definitely yeah we might revisit it we might yeah. revisit it in a year or two but for right now we're able to make we're trying to maximize our time to make the most dollars we can and it's just we can just all make more money just focusing on wholesale or social media or whatever then it was but, like like the wi-fi astronaut youtube channel yeah if you guys haven't checked out the wi-fi astronaut youtube channel definitely. monday wednesday friday about Dude, 11, me and miles 11, are on the same upload schedule. at 11 p.m monday you, well, wednesday you, friday you do the thumbnail in the morning and then you just shoot or shoot it and post it i, like, I usually shoot at like 11 miles is always at noon Dude, so yeah. who do you who do you think is going to keep the schedule the longest monday wednesday friday i mean i no, I, I think I, you're gonna too i know I, once i, I once I, I do something yeah. for like three times i'm usually like I just got to do and it three that's times. a nice nice thing. We were talking about this, but like when you're doing content and you're scaling Amazon aggressively, you always have stuff to talk about. Yeah, that's what I like about it. Like I, I got was telling whole... the dentist today. Yeah. He was asking, he asked every time. He asked like two years ago, and I was like, Yeah, man, like I'm I'm trying this business thing. And he's like, Oh, that's cool. Like <laughs> uh and then uh and then like six months ago, it's like I was like, Yeah, man, I it's like, yeah, so what you up to now? You graduated. I'm like, Yeah, it's kind of still doing that business thing. And then today I went in and He's like asking about it more. And I was like, yeah, it's nice because it's like basically there's the e-commerce and it's basically a media company is the other wing of it. You know what I mean? Like Instagram, all the education. Did you drop the, yeah. did you drop the flips from basically. Miles Handle? Well, he asked, he asked. But I, and I was like, yeah, basically like it's obviously super hard to do the content thing, but I put in a year or two of posting into the yeah. void and building <laughs> trust, making friends. And now it's a symbiotic thing that the better I do in the business, the better the content is, the more money that comes in, the more connections that are made, the better you do in the business. And it's a, a compounding cycle that, that's beautiful and profitable. And, uh, and it's just more fun. fun putting out content when you're doing it with people. Like y'all yeah. have your money. I was like, you know what I'm saying? Like that just builds camaraderie and it builds momentum. Also the YouTube, what I noticed about it, as soon as you start get, at least for me, as soon as I started getting like a little feedback, like, like one comment that wasn't Rodriguez or Kevin, I was like, I was like, I was like, all right, I'm like, I'm hooked. I don't know. For some reason, seeing feedback from people I didn't know, like in the comments or like DMs or messages, I was like, damn, like this kind of feels good. Like I'm gonna keep doing it. It's also not what that are, difficult. It's not too, too, too hard. What's your, um, just pick up the camera. You, it's not hard at all. You just pick up the camera. Well, I mean, to Danny's credit, Danny's, Danny's got like a, his videos are very good. Like his, his your your speaking on them is very good. I like. I think they're terrible. That's it's funny. Like I, th I no, think I think you're a good speaker. But, but um, what do you think your ceiling is for? Like how far do you think it can go? I don't know. Do I think like, I, I mean, like obviously, like wishful thinking. Like I, yeah. I, honestly, I don't know. I'm kind of taking it day by day. Like yeah, wishful thinking. Like become like channel like Graham Stephan and just do kind of general <laughs> stuff. Like in terms of like finance. But I want to stay. Like I like talking about money. I want to stay in business in the money area. Not only because. That's what I like, but it's also because that's where the the ad sense is the highest. Well, yeah, I mean, like the the per, the finance scenes like very saturated, but like the Amazon it's or like the really. trucking or just like specified businesses, it's all a like, blue because uh, everyone has a unique take on the business. Yeah, so I think maybe as a whole, it might be a little saturated, but like there's there, there's new people coming of age to learn about finance every day yeah. like oh five, yeah like and five well, years with ago anything, with they, anything they, i know that i'll i'll do it longer i'll post more and i don't need to ask for money quickly you know what i mean so i'll, I'll put in work that's better than what everyone else will do and i'll win regardless but amazon's such a blue ocean content would, would you say no you're one... in the winner circle uh what does your hoodie say it doesn't yeah, it says driven. That's like their their uh thing. I was just call yeah, give them a give them a flash for the buy box bandage viewers. Yes, sir. Yes, just sir. dude. Honestly, uh, sweatshirts are really comfortable. Yeah, I've been wearing it for like three days. Band, yeah. She, Shout she out the buy box banner sweater in the back there. The back yeah, do you guys see this in every episode yeah. now? This is there. That's like, hard. how how 
part is that also Pete Delight, it's blue. Got some more updates coming soon. Some more stuff in the in the works coming soon. <laughs> for the background for the background. Yeah, of course, of course. When you know, yeah, some lights, some lights. When's the trucking out. content coming? <sighs> Sold the truck, so you're working on. Something. I mean, I will. I, I like. I could create trucking content, um, just because I have a far superior knowledge of it than obviously a beginner. But it's, I think, someone in the trucking field who's in the equivalent level of where I'm at, and I'm like, I'm just not there. I don't feel comfortable enough putting out trucking content also because when you start talking about trucking content you start talking about federally regulated industries the fmcsa like i'm good like i don't want to mess with with those boys that's fair it's just it it just becomes a whole nother sector i could but i would have to create another youtube channel which i'm i don't want to do like i want to focus everything i'm doing around amazon and like e-commerce even though it's multiple areas like YouTube, my own business, it's still all in the same like field, it's still all in the same like area. Yeah, that's the system. Yeah, yeah, you got a you got a nice little blank spot in that top left. Yeah, I, I know. I I, well, I could zoom in my camera more and make it go away, but I yeah, I got some stuff up here I could switch or put in, but I just haven't yet. Yeah, you need to keep the theme going. You need you got the two on the right. You need have one on the left of the of the astronaut or the whatever that thing is. The rocket, the, uh, that's rocket, the rocket yeah, yeah, is yeah, 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 yeah. Pff, seriously fire. Man. I think the best decision I've ever I've made in 2022. It's still young, still early. Yeah, it is still early. I, I hope think it might be the best. best decision I've made the past three years. That rocket. Jeez. Oh, I would say DMing me very humbly. I would say you DMing me, like, hey, I think I'm gonna try Amazon was one of your better decisions. <laughs> But the thing is, I, I, I probably would have, I probably would have done it anyway. To be honest, I would have eventually got hit with the ads. Well, you were yeah, already. I, I don't think you ever would have gotten, gotten involved like... with the content, though, Danny. I mean, that's just my opinion. Um, I know I wouldn't have. I, I certainly you said wouldn't you have. were getting not. hit by. You said you were getting hit by Ty Lopez stuff back in the day, Dude, and I wasn't. Always, that's what's always, crazy. Always. I never was. He was like, I mean, dude, he had have been spending like six figures a day on YouTube ads. It was crazy. I mean, it was insane. Uh, I don't know if I would have got into the content. I mean, maybe because I had a YouTube channel when I was younger about, uh, well, there was like two phases when I was like 10. It was about Xbox controllers and like spray painting them and like doing stuff with that and reselling them. And then when I was like 15, 16, it was like gaming. So I don't know. I may, I may have gotten involved in content. I'm not sure. I, honestly, probably not if I didn't have models pushing me, but. Well, you would have found me regardless if you were just getting in the Amazon community. Of course, of course. It would it would naturally. I think it would have happened, happened anyway. Either way. Yeah. I I know for certain I never would have put out a one thing if it wasn't for being around. You already guy. were though, and that's why I just I put you in the group chat immediately without even knowing you, because that was it when it was early and we didn't yeah. have like we we're just putting you know putting. Uh, luckily that was a great choice by me as well. Dude, just great choices by miles all around. No, 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 no. That was my only choice in that uh in that sequence. There, you chose to DM me about the about the Amazon stuff. All I said was, I think I'm getting uh, like, hey, I want to start the books and stuff. Yeah, you we gotta we gotta go find that DM and and screenshot it and post it on a wall. No, that somewhere. Instagram doesn't Under exist anything. anymore. No, it, was, flip, it wasn't. It flips for miles. I don't know, dude. I don't know. I think it was, dude, because I no, it was because I naturally got hit with your with the flips for miles like well i had the personal one back in the day so it was either you had tagged it in your personal I, one. i were i'm sure i did a few times yeah i'm absolutely oh, yeah i don't see it on instagram anymore yeah dude i don't know why i just thought about this the single best piece of content miles has ever put out was the flips five miles when the whole inflation yeah stuff bro was going that out. was I, I changed his name to that in my interview for my channel yeah, we did a video I, I, that, I made it yeah. flips five miles yeah, it's just that was one of the most solid yeah, that was one of the most solid pieces of content. Should I tweet it there. again and see if people like it'll probably get a nah, nah, nah. Yeah, was, no, but you gotta be time. like you gotta be like gas prices are crazy, flip side miles. It probably yeah, oh, bro, I, bro. I'm I'm muting the word gas. Dudes are everyone everyone on Twitter went from uh abundance mindset, like I can't believe you guys trip over spending four bucks on coffee to just whining about gas prices all day. Go make some money, man. Yeah, Sell one extra up, item on Amazon a day. What yeah, they go not. up like sixty cents per mile, or per, ga- per gallon? Me? I, I don't yeah. know. Hasn't it like doubled? Oh, oh yeah, it's now. like the national average right now is like four something. It's like plus four. 
It's like a good time to own a maybe. Tesla. That's all I can say. Yeah, how funny is that? Someone, I, I it was a, like a late night talk show. I think it was like, man, I don't care. Gas to go as high as it wants. I own a Tesla. <laughs> I've never been more of a proud Tesla owner. Yeah, I got. Yeah, I, I I've bet, muted. Some, I I've muted some people on Twitter this week who are just tweeting. My about um, my day. brother, my brother's in Italy. Well, gas is always more expensive in Europe, but he said it was like eight bucks today. Yeah, I'm pretty but sure that's what. It's some places in Europe, it's like ten. No, yeah, it's it's like usually. Yeah. It's like usually. You have high. to you have to get ninety three, don't you, Danny? Mm-hmm. Yikes. Yeah. Yeah. Where's it down there? It's like four fifty. Well, actually, no premium. I think I paid like five bucks yesterday. Or something. I think it's more expensive up here. It is. I think it is. It is. It is. Yeah. It is. I was. I was. I was looking at map earlier. Yeah. I mean, definitely not the best time to be driving a, a gas guzzling vehicle, but it is what it is. You know what it is a good time to be doing? Selling on Amazon, baby. Exactly. So the time right. now, I'm not driving. I'm just sourcing more products. Because <laughs> yeah, it's I like, mean, we all I think it's like home. sixty cents a mile for me to drive my car now, which is that's <laughs> what's still worth it. You, I mean, of course, transportation. What? I mean, yeah, like, what are you gonna do? Just like not do stuff? Yeah. I'm. I mean, honestly, Ubers here are like ridiculous. Oh yeah, cheap. yeah, they are. They are. It's like disgustingly <laughs> cheap. I feel bad for the cheap. Uber drivers. Cause I hope Uber is raising the prices here. Cause I don't know how they're making money now. Yeah. I remember, I don't know if it's a now thing, but I remember Ubering from your place to the airport for like $10 yep. or $5 or whatever. Yep. It was crazy. Yep. I've got an Uber from here to the airport for eight bucks. It's like, yeah, it's, I mean, it's only, I think cause they're doing it by miles and it's only like five miles. Yeah. But still it's like, cra- like one time it took us like 30 minutes to get there cause there was traffic and it was like a 10 or $12 Wow. Dude was losing money on that ride. Yeah, I felt really bad. I was like, "Damn, <laughs> like you're damn." They're making. Uh, Did you give like them a ten dollars an hour? Yeah, but also Uber is supposed to cover it if you're not making at least minimum wage. They're supposed to cover the yeah. the, the, the gap. The gap in it, Miles. What are you intently doing over there? Oh, I I was uh, I was responding to a couple of tweets. Just, I dropped the thread right before, so it's like pumping in. Dude, a, what, what was the thread on? Tell us the tell us the basis of the thread. Okay, let me walk you guys through content creation 101. No, just tell us the girl. Okay, so uh, over the weekend, I filmed a free course for YouTube, which I then uh, posted on Instagram, sent to my email list, and did an audit DM through Twitter. I went hard on that video, so I put timestamps, and it was an Amazon Basics video, and then I had the timestamps, so they're in the description saved. Then I wrote a thread using the the... Right, slow down, slow down, of slow, the, down, slow down. And I wrote a thread of the topics in the timestamps, and then I can use that thread on Instagram and that thread on Twitter, which I, I was obviously a tweet that'll screenshot and post it on Instagram. So you guys just got a major. So I probably ran up like it, t- tens of thousands of impressions, definitely like, you know, multiple tens of thousands of impressions off that one idea that I made a YouTube video of that I then distributed in multiple different forms of media with a Twitter thread as well as several tweets. Uh, an email list plug twice to the free course because it's obviously valuable no opt and required go check out my youtube channel if you want to see the free course and that my friends is a walkthrough of a way on don't get this boy oxygen types of content because with amazon it's just selling the same stuff over and over again just selling stuff chopping wood every single day it's the same thing with content baby i'm going nowhere i'm in it for the long haul let's run it up Solid, Take a deep solid. Breath. Yeah, a lot of the that threads uh, can just be really be basis for YouTube videos or vice and versa, vice versa. Yeah. which is cool. How, how long did it take you to do the timestamps? Was that hard? Uh, I'm going to have my VA do it in the future, but no, I just, I, well, the nice thing was it was a video where I had it's a it was the free course video so the second slide is course agenda and it already has all the topics in it so it's just then quick scrolling through nice nice how's the va for the youtube videos going oh well he dude he did an iron a half iron man and edited the video in the same day <laughs> which i did i didn't know he was doing half iron man like i obviously would have told him like dude take the whole week off like i'll figure it out but he hooked it up yeah yeah yeah, the VAs are great. That's where that that's what makes because when I was doing video creation when I was like 16 and I was I was actually doing really good on it. Um the, the bottleneck for me was the editing portion. I just I hated editing videos because it took so much longer than to record the actual video because you got to edit it, watch through it, make more edits, watch through it. So just having a VA to do it is so nice. I just drop the the raw file to him on Google Drive and then I get it back a day later. Dude, it's crazy. Our friend, um, our friend Justin still edits his own videos. Yeah. 
Yeah. He I, was like, like how many, like what, 10, like 50, 60,000 subscribers and he's still editing his own videos. That's yeah. crazy. Graham, um, Graham, Stefan and Mr. B said the same thing that when they were handing over editing, they were under the impression that no one in the world could ever replicate their style. Yeah. And, and like what they said, like verbatim was like, turns out there's people that could not only replicate your style, but do it better, better and more efficiently than you could. Jack puts in work on it. Yeah. yeah. Carl yeah. used to be an editor for Mr. Beast. And then he got the call up to the, to yeah, the bro. huge come up, huge come up. For it was day. interesting watching that, that Colin and Samir video where he was talking about how he know he knew what would be good content in a Mr. Beast video. So he was doing that in the video. He's purposely <laughs> doing it. Yeah. <laughs> that's such a good idea smart very smart. seriously dude i don't go through my twitter dms enough i have a ton yeah you gotta do that stuff man these people like if if people are taking the time to mess with your content yeah, i like probably have like damn near a hundred message requests that you I gotta retweet you gotta retweet the tweet i just sent you I, to i'm not sure if you realize but i had already retweeted your thread before you just sent this to me that's love for the boys so you're welcome. Serious love. Did you see Twitter community launch today? Yeah. You think it's going to last? Uh, I have no idea, but I started one. Look, what's it. the difference between communities and the the other thing that's already there? The list? There's no, like, list. you can retarget people for free. Oh, with lists, you're adding other people to it. Right, this is right, like right. A, yeah. a Discord channel, yeah. Did you make, so when you own the community, what, Right, like you own what you made one an Amazon flipping community. Yep. And what like rights does that get? Essentially, you own like it's like a Discord. yeah. Well, it's just like a it's basically like a forum. You know what I mean? And I made you, it so other people can tweet if they want. Right. Is that is that Unemployment Club two point No, it's like public. It's it's just called uh, Twitter. I don't know how well it'll do, but I made one. Can like, you like pin stuff as the owner of it? I'm pretty sure I got a course sale from it too. Because you can you pin like stuff as the owner of it? Huh? Can you pin stuff as the owner of it? Uh, well, the, or like drop people links. Are yeah, using their, people are mostly put- using Twitter Mobile. Like you might be able to, but it's not like the way the it the way it's configured right now. It doesn't make sense to, but theoretically, yeah. Oh yeah, you just. Oh wait, has anyone tweeted in this? Yeah, I mean, if you like, or there's been some responses. No one's formally tweeted. You oh, should just cool. it right now. Yeah, I mean, who knows if it'll be. I a big honestly don't threat. know how to tweet in it. Like, but um, anyway. Oh, maybe you can. Oh, I don't fuck. think you can. I don't think you can, bro. Well, okay, respond to something in it because you can do that. We'll do it after. We'll do it after. Yeah. But anyway, back to the, back to Amazon. Now State back the to the too. podcast. Thank you to this uh, security company or whatever for sponsoring. <laughs> 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 That's a nice coffee hour. Any reference. sponsors, reach out. No, I'm, I'm joking. <laughs> Not yeah, no, you, we we can't game. be bought. We can't be bought. I mean, we definitely could be bought. Let's not lie here. Kenneth yeah, will, will will Miles Miles bought. portion can't be bought. Danny Miles, said Miles, I'm a bag chaser. Oh, don't bring that up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, looks like we're nearing the end of the podcast. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed just the three of us. We got a cool guest coming up in the next videos. Go check out the previous ones. Other than that, and you guys got anything else to say here? Nope. All right. See you guys in the next podcast.